What's up, buddy? I'm gonna poop. You're gonna poop? Yeah. You're pooping on the vlog? No, I need to poop carpet. Are you gonna poop on the carpet? Yeah. <laughs> so we were in New York City for 36 hours and uh, I didn't get as much footage as I wanted to. And I'm trying not to beat myself up because New York City is New York City. It's an amazing place. I mean, like Casey Neistat is there. He puts, you know, he makes these amazing little films. And uh, and I wanted to go and induce, you know, make something really fun and exciting and creative. But reality is, I have a toddler. New York City is a different city. And I have a pregnant wife. Those are my priorities, right? This is what I do for fun. Like I, this is my fun thing. And, and th these guys are my priority. And so because of that, I wasn't able to capture a ton of footage. I wasn't able to really like find the story. And that, that's what vlogging is to me. I don't look at vlogging as bring a camera, point it and you know, just document. I find vlogging to be find the story. What is the story? Where's the drum? Where's the adventure? What's going on around? that uh, I can be a part of and I can experience and then edit and tell the story the way that you know will leave the greatest impact or enjoyment for, for my viewers. There were some stories involved, including me totally wiping out uh, on a New York sidewalk. <laughs> You know, walking around like looking at the buildings and then just tripping and falling and ripping my pants. There was uh, walking into an ice cream shop and looking around and realizing, wait a minute, I've seen this place before. This was on Master of None and, and taking a picture of a trash can and sending it to Erica. Um, there was uh, me and Henry trying to get to uh, Grand Central Station trying to figure out where to catch the subway. I mean, all these things that um, would have been really fun, a really fun story to tell, but there is a, a mechanics to putting together a vlog. One of those is being able to use the camera and <laughs> capture those moments. It's very difficult to do when your mind is focused on uh, wrangling a toddler, it being very, very cold and windy out, uh, as well as trying to just, you know, document while holding a kid. It's just, it's very, very difficult to do. So I was able to capture some things. Uh, day one, Erica wasn't feeling too great, so that didn't really get anything. But uh, day two, we had a, a very lovely time at the uh, Children's Museum in Manhattan. No, no. Teach your daddy your flower, Sam. Guess your flower, Sam. You got a tattoo? Hold on, let me get it. Let me see here. You are, oh, let's get in the elevator. We are attempting to do the impossible, and that is circumvent nap time by distracting him with the children's museum. Let's go. Yeah, and then we took a, a, a fun, just kind of walk, stroll, past uh, Central Park and then into to Times Square. <laughs> Our little experiment didn't quite work, passed out. It's 3.05, so you went three hours without a nap, and now it's passed out. Do you see all the, do you see all the TVs? Yeah, it's a lot of TVs. It's like a bunch of iPads. There's mommy! Do you like, is this cool? Yeah, my favorite one. What is your favorite one? And then hopped in our car, drove all the way back to Pittsburgh. And that was where we are. And that is how we spent 36 hours uh, in the middle of Erica's work, working three weeks straight. So I am, uh, I'm gonna catch the rest of this Patriots Jaguars game. Um, thanks for watching. Go make today an adventure. And I'll see you in the next video.